from the craziest shot in NBA history. And he does it in style, banking it in to end the half. To an NBA arena flooding mid-game. Look, it looks like, what, what are you talking about? The water, roof, floor? These are impossible NBA moments. And we have to start with John Morant, because with only 0.4 seconds left in the first half, Steven Adams did his best Patrick Mahomes impersonation and let Ja take care of the rest. Adams going long, Morant! Oh! Look at this, he, he tells us going long, get my feet underneath me, in the air, behind the basket! How is that even possible? But at number 19, Steph makes the impossible possible, especially with this shot in the 2015 conference semifinals. He was well behind the three-point line, the other team's three-point line. And that's not even the only time Steph has hit a shot like that, because after getting a steal, he had to give the Warriors a one-point lead. Excellent defense by Boston. Oh, and now Curry gets it right back. Now number 17 is where things start getting crazy, because down two with only 4.2 seconds left, Luka Doncic had to miss a free throw and get the rebound if they had any chance of tying the game. The flexible ball loose, still loose, Doncic! Not only did he somehow make that shot falling down, but he also gave us a little dance too. But number 16 gets even more impossible. See, there have only been 10 players in NBA history to ever score 70 or more points in an NBA game. One was Joel Embiid. This year, on January 22nd, 2024, he had 70 points and 18 rebounds. But what makes this even crazier, while everyone was celebrating Embiid, just four days later, Luka Doncic one-upped him and dropped 73 points against the Atlanta Hawks. And this game became the the fourth highest point total ever scored in one game while only missing eight shots. Jonovic and Sadiq Bey complete the group on the floor for Atlanta. But it's a Lucas show right now. Oh, down the lane, Luka again. Lucas splits a double, keeps the drill alive, all the way to the hoop. Scoop to the hoop with a foul. Point 71 and 72. Two of the only players to ever score 70 points in an NBA game happened just four days apart. And if that's not crazy enough for you, for number 15, we have to go back to April 14th, 1993. The Chicago Bulls held a full court shot contest at halftime. All you had to do was make this shot and you would win a million dollars. And after 18 people shot and missed, Don Calhoun stepped up with a chance to change his life forever. That young man One shot and one million dollars richer. But at number 14, LeBron made it look like he had a million dollars on the line too. Because on May 31st, 2007, LeBron and the Cavaliers were tied 2-2 against the Detroit Pistons to go to the NBA Finals. And with six minutes left in the third quarter, the Cavaliers were only up by one point and LeBron had only scored 19 so far. But for the next 16 minutes, LeBron made sure they weren't losing this game. For the crossover, it counts and the foul. What a move by LeBron James. James has to fire and oh, scores! Oh my. What a shot by LeBron James! Five seconds, four, three, James scores with two! He scored 25 points in a row, and the last 29 out of their 30 total points. And he was only 22 years old. Now, as impossible as LeBron made that look, number 13 brings us to a whole nother level. Because the Raptors were down three points, and after throwing the ball in the air, everyone thought the game was over. Ruffin tips it away, and... No! Not possible! Very close to contact there. As Peterson throws it up. I guarantee he's never doing that again. And something else that'll never happen again is number 12. Now, we all know Draymond Green isn't known for his shooting, but this free throw right here is something I've never seen before. Dallas and me coming into Look at this. Look at this. A thousand times. More than a thousand. And that would never happen. More than a thousand. Look at that. No wonder this guy only kicks people. But next up, we have to go back to 2004 because Tracy McGrady did something we will never see again. Against the San Antonio Spurs, down 10 with 35 seconds left, T Max scored 13 points in a row to win the game. First now lead by seven. Rockets looking for a quick shot. Cohen is all over. McGrady foul is picked up. Oh, a potential four point finally gets it in to McGrady. 
McGrady over Bowen for three. Oh, yes! Yes! Tracy McGrady! Here comes McGrady! No turnabout commanded! McGrady for the win! Yeah! Oh. 1.7 to go! Tracy McGrady with an incredible performance down the stretch, including a four-point play! Man, that's something you have to see to believe. Just like number 10, because Josh Richardson had one of the craziest two points I've ever seen. <laughs> LeBron didn't want to shoot it, so he gave it up to Dennis. LeBron really gave him the ball with 0.5 seconds left, but D-Wade had even less time than that, because back in 2019, he was going against one of the greatest teams ever assembled, with Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. And this was Wade's last year ever playing in the NBA, so with only three seconds left, he had to pull off one more signature moment. Waiters, back to Dwayne, shoots, no, he couldn't get it off, now fires it out. Not only did he get blocked, he shot it off one foot and somehow banked it in. But Wade wasn't the first player to hit a game winner like this. In fact, back in 2009, instead of Wade hitting the bank shot, he had to hit right in his face instead. It was such a Kobe moment. I actually couldn't be that mad because I looked down and said, now moving on to number 6, John Moran not only ended his opponent's career, but he almost ended his too. After turning the ball over, he chased the defender down and touched the top of the backboard blocking the shot. Avery Bradley with the deflection against Bang! This dude almost had his head taken off by the backboard, but at least his head wasn't almost taken off by a ball. Because at number five, LeBron jammed it so hard, he almost gave my guy a concussion. One on one movement, and like Coach said, passing up first shot. Whoa, missed on the jump by James. Is that supposed to count as a block? But something that is definitely a block is number four, because D Wade pulled off one of the greatest plays I've ever seen. Look out, Ottomire on the pick and oh. block his shot but he also drilled a half court shot that has to be the best play of all time and this might be the worst play of all time because in the 2023 playoffs the celtics were matched up against the atlanta hawks now the hawks were already down 3-1 but with 35 seconds left they had a one point lead and the ball and their best player trey young had a chance to ice the game young down the lane off the window oh man. Luckily for Trey, just a few seconds later, he had a chance to win the game, and he wasn't messing it up this time. Backtracks, five to two, Young, lets it go! Oh! And speaking of the Hawks, at number two, we have something we may never see again. Scores on the floor, nice pick by Lowry. That has to be the unluckiest thing I've ever seen. Not what we all have been waiting for, the most impossible moment in NBA history. And for this moment, we're going all the way back to May 7th, 1995, because this was the day Reggie Miller broke every Knicks fan's heart. In the first game of the Eastern Conference semifinals, this game already looked like it was completely over. That was until a man named Reggie Miller scored eight points in nine seconds. On Sunday afternoon in New York, the Knicks topped themselves. Oh, how they topped themselves, and oh, how they they had Miller for three, and he got it, and it's 105-102, and a steal, Miller retreats to the three-point line, and hits again, Miller hits two, Reggie Miller, scoring eight points in the final 32 seconds, John Sark choke. We came up big. This guy Reggie really called him out on live TV. But if you liked watching impossible NBA moments, you'll love watching times when NBA players cry. Go check it out right now.